Hello everyone and welcome back to the Football Manager 2020 simulation of Euro 2020 and the game that we've got for you today, France versus Poland and interesting game here, France obviously on 6 points, well ahead of the rest of the pack and essentially through, they pretty much need a point qualify top Poland are already well pr near enough out already um, with Russia and Denmark on three points I don't think there's a way for Poland to qualify obviously if it's a draw if either of the teams win then that's Poland out anyway so pretty nothing game this except if Poland can win and that's a big if really could put a spanner in the works for France and potentially could prevent France finishing top. But let's go into the game anyway. As teams are warming up. And to the left, we have France with Hugo Lloris in goal. Pavard, Varane, Umtiti and Mendy make up their back line. N'Golo Kante, Pogba and Taliso in a three-man midfield with Usman Dembele on the right. Antoine Griezmann through the middle and Kylian Mbappe on the left. Meanwhile, Poland with a 4-2-3-1 formation. Wojciech Szczesny in goal. Berezinski, Glick, Bednarak and Ribas in, make up their back line. In holding midfield, you've got Zielinski and Lenetti with Kittel in that number 10 role. Blaszczykowski and Grosicki on the wings with Robert Lewandowski up front. And should be a very, very good game this. Plenty of talent from both sides here. Obviously, Poland haven't really shown their quality at all so far in this competition and you can see from the table down there actually no it was it was a draw wasn't it France haven't got yeah France haven't got uh, six points I thought they did um, in any case I don't think Poland can go through unless no, I don't think they can. But there is a way France cannot go through if Poland win and Russia win. That could be the way that France don't get through as Grzycki probably could have got a shot on target there. As you look at the way that the group is set up and Usman Dembele has picked up a knock already in this game, we're not even 10 minutes in, as Pogba finds Mbappe, and now Mendy on the ball, into the box, Benjamin Mendy is dispossessed, but he's still with the ball, Pogba now, intercepted by Kittel, now Lewandowski has a chance to counter for Poland, he's got Grosicki there with him, he's taken down well, and has found the back of the net, and 9 minutes in, and Poland have picked up the lead here, and what, what a start to this game. Lewandowski picks up the ball. He's got no one in support. Holds the ball up really well. Spots the run. Finds it. Grzycki. Near enough straight on goal. And finds the bottom corner. And against the odds. Poland are ahead. And yeah, you can, you can see that and say. If Russia beat. Denmark, then that puts Russia on six points. Denmark on four, along with France, which would then come down to goal. I think goal difference between them because they drew in the last game. Now Pavard dispossessed by Ribas, so goal difference will play a factor here. And France with a two-goal win over Russia, and. I I think it was 2-1 between Poland and, or well, Denmark beat Poland 2-1. So France would be going through on goal difference if that's the case. But Griezmann is through over the top. He's not got no one in support. Chesney saves and Glick heads that out. But it's only as far as Griezmann and Berezinski can't dispossess Griezmann into Mbappe. And that's been cleared finally as Pogba picks up the ball and France attack once more. That might be too much on that. It is, and that's a goal kick for Poland. 
And yeah, France need to sort themselves out here. The World Cup champions on the ropes here against against Poland. As Pogba finds Salis and Akante finds Benjamin Mendy on the wing. And the ball in Pavard knocks it down to Usman Dembele. And he's going backwards. Kante out to Pavard once more. And the effort has found the top corner. Fantastic finish from the fullback. Off the crossbar. Off the post it looked like. Sort of both bits of woodwork. But great ball in from Kante. And fantastic finish. You can see here Dembele can't really go anywhere with it. So it goes back to Kante. Who finds Pavard in open space. And just lashes that in the top corner. Out of reach for Chesney. And what a finish that was from Benjamin Pavard. Kante with the assist. And France back in control here. They've had more efforts, more on target. Then Poland in the opening 35, 37 minutes. And Mbappe's got an injury, which, you know, Dembele and Mbappe out for France could. Could be quite interesting as Talisa picks up another injury and oh, France if their if their team falls apart then when they get to the knockout rounds it will be interesting to see if they well who they've got fit for that Talisa Mbappe and Usman Dembele have started all the group games and if they're out for the next round then that's going to be that's going to be catastrophic for France, depending on who they get in the next round, and if their injuries that they can't recover for the rest of the tournament for. But in any case, it's going to be one all going into half time. Poland have scored from their one shot on target. Great finish from Grzyzewski in the tenth in the ninth minute, but France fought back in the twenty third. Great finish from Benjamin Pavar, but they've looked good. They obviously. Need the draw to get through, but would prefer to have the win just in case Denmark do beat Russia. But let's go into this game, or well into the second half, as Lewandowski kicks off for Poland. And it should be pretty routine from France from here on out. They've been they've looked good in the second half of their other games so far, as Grzycki is in behind once more. Can he find anyone? He's got Linetti, and it's a good save by Hugo Lloris. As it's been clear, but it's only as far as Zielinski. Now back to Glick. Zielinski once more. And the ball across is intercepted by Dembele, picked up by Ribas. Linetti on the ball once more. Krasitsky goes past Pavar. He's into the box, skips past another challenge. Blaszczykowski's finish into the ground, which takes on a lot of the power off the ball for him. And Hugo Lloris can get a hold of that ball. But France coming forward with pace and Dembele's effort straight at Chesney. Um, TT with the throw now. And I've, do you know what? I've seen this quite a lot of centre backs taking throw ins, and it leaves teams really vulnerable as Pogba's. Effort is saved and tip wide, but I just don't get it. I really just don't get it. I've seen Chiellini take them. Obviously, he's got high long throws. I think Gagliardo does as well, but I don't get Umtiti taking taking that. Fullbacks usually take it, but it seems like one defend central defender's always taking it. It's Martial comes on for Dembele, who's been injured, and Mbappe also has an injury there, so. We don't know how long he's going to be able to stay on the pitch for. Squeezeman into Mbappe. Now Pogba. France exchanges and passes. And it's got to Mbappe on the left wing. Now back to Pogba. What can he do from here? Back to Kante. Into Mbappe once more. Pogba on the ball. And tipped over the bar by Wojciech Szczesny. France really starting to put the pressure onto Poland. Mbappe to take the corner. Varane's header over the bar. But these injuries keep piling up for France. And they're going to need to well, do something about it, really. Poland not looking very threatening in the second half so far. As Pavard comes down that right wing. He's put the ball in. Glick clears it out. Pogba's header forward. 
cleared again. Martial picks it up. The very deep defensive line from Poland here is Kante on the ball. Pogba out wide to Pava. Can he put the ball in? He puts that back to Mbappe. And Glick clears it out. And yeah, Mbappe, that injury seems to be affecting him a little bit as Pogba finds Martial. And Pogba once more. His effort from distance saved again by Szczesny. And you've got to say, France, while they're looking in control, just need to get the winner here. It's Pogba's header from Mbappe's free kick finds the back of the net. And that's what France needed. That puts them back in control of this tie into the lead for the first time in this game. You can see here, great free kick whipped in by Mbappe and Pogba really can't miss from there all he has to do is make contact and he did just that into the back of the net now France at this rate would go through as winners as Blaschikov, well Berezinski sorry heads that out and Josviak into Zielinski Josviak on the ball once more Glick into Kilch Zielinski, Zosviak now once more and Poland really need to do something about this because they're just not really going anywhere. it Berezinski finds well Varane got there just ahead of Lewandowski Zielinski now out swinging corner, Lenetti saved and that's just about cleared free kick to France and Glick was offside but that was a big chance there for France or no, so for Poland even but we can see there, Poland will be going out at this rate on zero points and they're going to want to fight for something here as Kilch, his free kick is tipped over the bar by Lurie Now Kaputska, Berezinski saved by Lurie, great save from the goalkeeper there, as it's another corner by Kaputska, out by Mtiti, and Poland are attacking once more and they need to do something in this game if they want to get at least a point here, as Josviak the ball comes off him but and that goes out for a goal kick as we enter the last few minutes of stoppage time here is it's five minutes to be added on presumably for all those injuries but Mendy on the ball into Pogba now out to Pavar plays it inside to Kylian Mbappe and that's been blocked and with two and a half minutes left it's a corner kick to France can they double their lead kill off the game here or can Poland launch a counter-attack as Varane's effort is blocked and Zuma comes on for Pavard just to presumably just kill a little bit of time here and Mbappe to take the corner kick France have not got many men forward here as Lewandowski clears that out Zielinski clears the second ball with Pogba out to Mbappe great first touch and he's slotted that into the near post and secures the win for France as Pogba with the assist. They didn't bring too many men forward. Obviously, Poland went attacking, didn't pay off. Pogba brings the ball down, plays it into Mbappe, whose first touch is, well, a little bit stylish, and fires that into the near post. And Szczesny should do a lot better there as time has ticked away. We're in the 96th minute now. Free kick comes in. And Kante on the ball, out to Mbappe, into the box once more. He's hit the side netting, and surely that is that as the final whistle goes. France 3, Poland 1, and you're looking at this, and you're thinking, there's no way that Denmark can beat Russia by a good few goals to be able to go through in first place. So... France looking like they're going to be top in the group, but it all comes down on who finishes second, who finishes third between Russia and Denmark. But that's going to be it for this video. 
please leave a like on if you enjoyed it subscribe for future episodes make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss a video and i'll see you tomorrow for the final game of group a thank you